Hi, I'm Bhavish and in today's video, we are going to look at the task manager that is work active job WRKACTJOB command in AS400. So this is nothing but a task manager. So like how in Windows, you can open your task manager uh, by right clicking on start and task manager and the task manager will show you CPU utilization, memory utilization, and then you can look at which process is getting and using how much of the uh, your processor power and you can go to the properties you can see which process it is then you can look at your ram usage CPU utilization and so on so this task manager uh, allows you to manage processes in your uh, windows operating system in the same way on an as400 ibm i machine you have uh, something called as work active job which is as400 task manager so how do you open it uh very simple you just execute this command wrk that is work short form for work act which is short form for active and job which is short form for job so every command uh, in as400 will be a short uh denotion for a big word and it will mostly be a three letter uh, three alphabet word so work with active jobs will be wrk act job uh, so this is how the uh, the screen will look like. Now you can go into an AS400. So I'm using a public uh, pub 400 server, which is a free IBM I uh, server, which you can use. Uh, you can go to the website and uh, get an account and uh, login. So now if I do WRK ACT JOB, it loads up the task manager for me. I'm pressing F5. And when I'm pressing F5, you can see that the CPU part, uh, the CPU utilization is changing 5%, 6%, 7%. So F5 is for refresh. As you would have seen, you can press F10, which is which will be a complete uh, reset of all the uh, numbers that you see. And you can again uh, keep on pressing F5 to get the latest CPU uh, percentage. It also shows you the jobs which are currently running. So like in Windows, you have processes or uh, the processes here in AS400 are called as jobs. And uh, you'll see how much uh, percentage, how much CPU utilization every single job is using. You'll also have a column for that. Uh, you can sort all the processes by CPU utilization. You can click on the number below CPU percentage and click on Shift F4 and it will uh, arrange it in the descending order of CPU utilization. Uh, so that is that there are a lot of options which can which are available in work active jobs which are very advanced features and so on so you don't need to worry about everything right now just to get yourself used to this uh, tool uh, one more thing uh, which is uh, very important is that you will see the job sometimes uh, denoted under so, so these are three blank characters and uh, under this you have a job so if, if, so if i go down you'll have let's say that's qhttv server and inside qhttv server you have so many jobs then you have uh, other uh, things like qinter and inside qinter you have so many jobs so these are subsystems so what is a subsystem why it is used for we'll talk about that in a later video but just uh, note that all these jobs are submitted or they are grouped together the similar kind of jobs are grouped together into subsystems you don't need to worry about that uh, quite a lot so you can just see that uh, there are a lot of different uh, jobs which are currently running on the system and uh, you can access the menu uh, for the uh, or you can access the options for the job by using pi pi is work with so you can do pi and you should be able to get the menu so now this is not my job so i do not have the authority to look at the uh, options for that job but if you are an admin you should be able to but in this public server i think i can do a pi against my job and i can go inside so this is how the menu looks like when you go inside with pi option. So I'm working with the job. The job has the random name. Uh, it is automatically assigned and it is submitted by user, which is my user ID. And the job also has a unique job number. So the signature of the job is made by combining these three things. Uh, yeah, apart from that, you have all the different options below. We'll go through these options in detail later on. But some of the important options you can see are uh, one uh, the ones uh, defined here. Uh, so you can look at the status of the job. When was the job submitted? How long it has been active for using one or two options? So it will tell you when did the job entered the system, when it started on the system and so on. 
and if it ended then it should also tell you that the job is currently not running it is not active and the job is ended uh you can also look at the spool files uh, we'll look at spool files later on but spool files are nothing but logs which are generated by the job and they are stored and you can see all the logs over here another way to look at the job uh, log uh, is 10 option so a spool file is a file uh, which has all the logs which are stored in but log is an active log you can press f10 and uh, f10 will give you details uh log of what the job which which commands were run or what tasks were pop up of are being performed by this job right now so 10 is an option which will uh, give you a job log you can look at the call stack of the job so call stack is nothing but which program is currently being executed it is it, is, it was called by which program and the user is doing what action and so on so you can press f11 on that and if it is a COBOL program or an RPG program, it will also tell you the uh, line number on which the execution is, execution is happening. You can press F5. And if the user is performing any tasks, uh, then this list will get updated. So this is nothing but a program call stack. Uh, which program? Uh, the, the, the last program which is there is the one that is currently under execution. And it was called by the program above it. And this program is being called by the program above it. And so on. So these are some of the uh, main options one other option which is very important is 14 option which is display open files so if you are uh, if your if your job which you have submitted is using a lot of time it is not getting completed and you can just come over here and then you can uh, go inside this 14 option you will get to see which file uh, is being written to which files data is being read from so if your job is stuck in a loop let's say then your relative record number will not move ahead or even if it moves ahead it will keep on repeating the same record number and uh, so on so that was the basics those are the basics of uh, work active job command and we have seen that it is similar to windows task manager and uh, yeah we have seen the sorting as well so some points which we are left with is how will you find your job so when you submit the job on the command prompt itself uh, you will get a notification that this job is submitted you can uh, find your job from the command prompt uh, itself so it will give a message over here or if you are in a, a larger command prompt it will tell you that uh, this job is submitted and so on so you can work with your job in that way also one other way to find job is you go to work with active jobs again and you press shift f8 with shift f8 you can search for your job if you know your job name you can search by subsystem also so i can uh, search for jobs which are submitted in qbatch subsystem so you can type qbatch and press enter now qbatch does not have any jobs but if i do that again with another subsystem like qinter i should be able to see all the jobs which are running inside you enter so you can sort and you can search your job using shift f8 okay so that covers the topic of how to find your job uh, we have looked at the pi option we have looked at the logs we have looked at call stack we have looked at open files with 14 option so the call stack is available with 11 option and uh, the log is inside pi you can go and do an option then you will get to see your log that was basic introduction to work with active jobs uh, we will go into the details of each functionality later on if you like my content do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye